Welcome to Mini Runge. Today we are going to set up single sign-on and Joomla using a DFS as an identity provider. To configure Joomla SP with a DFS, make sure that your Joomla site should be HTTPS. Now go to the extensions, manage and click on install. Search Mini Runge SAML SSO in search field. Now select SAML SSO for Joomla. Click on Install. You have successfully installed plugin. Go to Components and click on Mini Runge SAML Single Sign-On. Now go to your DFS portal. Click on Relying Party Trust. Click on Add Relying Party Trust. Click on Start. Go to Joomla SAML plugin. Go to Service Provider Metadata tab. To copy metadata URL, click on Copy icon. Paste the metadata URL. Click on Next. Enter App Name. Click on Next. Click on Permit Everyone. Click on Next. Click on Next. Click on Close. Select your application. Click on Edit Claim Issuance Policy. Click on Add Rule. Click on Claim Rule Template. Select Sandal Dap Attribute as Claims. Click on Next. Enter Claim Rule Name. Click on Attribute Store. Select Active Directory. Select LDAP Attribute as Email Addresses. Select Outgoing Claim Type as Name ID. If you are sending multiple attributes to your SP, then make sure the outgoing claim type should be unique. Click on Finish. Click on Apply. Click on OK. Click on Properties. Click on Advanced. Click on Secure Hash Algorithm. Select SHA1. Click on Apply. Click on OK. Let's download the IDP metadata using the following URL. You can use this metadata file or a URL to upload a DFS metadata in the Joomla Service Provider tab. Click on Upload IDP Metadata under Service Provider tab. Paste the URL of metadata. Click on Fetch Metadata. For a DFS the name ID format should be unspecified. Click on Name ID Format. Select Name ID Format as unspecified. Click on Save. Click on Test Configuration. You have successfully configured Joomla with a DFS as IDP. Click on Close. Let's see how it works. Click on Login Settings. Copy SSO URL. Open Private Window and Paste URL. You have successfully logged in. Congratulations! You have successfully performed the SAML SSO with a DFS. If you have any questions, or in case you need any sort of assistance in configuring the plugin or if you want any custom feature then reach out us, we will add it for you.